uh, Drivis Delta systems are recognized throughout the world as uh, holding a, a huge amount of the world's biodiversity, particularly in places where uh, these river systems empty out into salt marsh and estuaries. This interface between uh, rivers and estuaries is a, a place where uh, marsh birds are really well known in, in high biodiversity, so such as the matuku, Australasian bittern, the uh, spotless and marsh crake, uh, banded rail, the tekotuku or white heron. Unfortunately many of these uh, river delta systems have been modified by stop banks. These have channeled and uh, uh, constrained these river systems and uh, they are no longer form the, the functions and, and create the intricate uh, habitats, back channels, uh, uh, debris deposits, uh, wetlands and so forth that they once did. <clears throat> This area of the uh, Waimea Delta has also been uh, converted to farmland and uh, there is also some farmland on one side of the, the river existing today. So it's a, a chance to, to put back. It's one of the greatest opportunities that we have in the district and uh, Birds New Zealand, Iwi, Doc and others are, are all on, on board uh, with this great opportunity. This project is a jointly funded project between the Ministry for the Environment and Tasman District Council. The plan for the first phase of these earthworks is to focus on the lowest, airing, lowest lying areas of the existing channel to create areas of open water. The aim is to create a mosaic of habitats for flora and fauna, as well as linking into the saltwater system that's present in the Pearl Creek system. We're going to do this by creating corridors by already existing channels and then looking to transplant local species that are found within the site, such as ropor. We'll plant these into ponds that we create in order to create habitat for marsh birds in particular. We've looked to stage these earthworks, so the reason for that is whilst we've studied the effects of flood in the area, and but we'll also learn from this, use this information in 12 months time when we look to continue the second phase.